Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and on today's episode, we're going to be finding the area of a circle. Now, check me out. We're going to be finding the area of a circle. So if we find the area of a circle, we first need to start out with the formula for the area of a circle. Now, if you don't have it memorized, I'm going to write it down for you on the board in one second. But I do highly recommend that you memorize the formula for the area of a circle. You memorize the formula for the circumference of a circle. And you also recognize when you're finding what. Because you don't want to be confronted with a problem where you have to find the area of a circle and you mistakenly use the circumference formula. So memorizing formulas will help you with that. Now, this is, tip, this is seen as like a more easy, less strenuous type of math problem. Some little light geometry type problem. The issue with that is for teachers is that oftentimes what we do is we take for granted that there are students that don't really have the level of understanding that we might have. So we take for granted that there are a lot of things that are fundamental to us because we've been doing this for so long that a lot of people don't understand. So what I'm going to try to do with this problem is I'm going to try to move slow and break this down piece by piece, right? So that everybody can be proficient at finding the area of a circle when you're given certain information. So as I said, you should start out with the formula. All right. Now, always write your formula down. Now, we're given some information right here that I'm going to talk about momentarily. But start out with your formula. The formula for the area, and I represent area with a capital letter A, right, is equal to pi times the radius squared. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. Pi is a number. Pi is a number. Pi is a number that represents a ratio or a fraction or the relationship between the circumference of any circle and, it's di and that circle's diameter, right? It's a constant number. The number is 3.14. Rounded off to two decimal places, it's 3.14. 3.14 is cool. That's why a lot of teachers be, you know, on March 14th, get it, 3.14, March 14th, they bring in pies, they bring in pizzas, you know, that type of thing, right? That's where pie day comes from. That's, what, that's the etymology or the significance of pie day, right? Pie is a number, so you should memorize that. This Greek letter right here, pi, P-I, it's a number. So somewhere on your paper, write down pi equals 3.14. Now, if you're using a calculator to do this problem, calculators, most of them, oh, man, anyway, calculators, most of them, they have a pi button. So you can just hit the pi button, and you don't even have to type in 3.14. All right? Now, pi is 3.14. Now, you need to also know the R. R stands for the radius. Now, what is the radius? The radius is the length from the center of a circle to the edge. So if I do a little quick and dirty circle drawing, boom, that would be the radius, right? From the center of the circle to the edge, that length is the radius, right? It's kind of like if somebody is, has a cake, has a circular cake for their birthday or something, and somebody like, like your mom or somebody or whatever puts the, puts the knife into the cake and makes that first slice from the center to the edge, Think of that as the radius. So next time you go to a birthday party, you're going to be thinking about geometry. And that's, what I, that's what I want to have happen. All right? Now, the diameter goes all the way across. Oh, I missed the center. <laughs> hate when that happens. The diameter goes all the way across the circle. All right? The diameter goes all the way across the circle. And the diameter is, the diameter and the radius have a special relationship. The diameter and the radius have a special relationship, right? Because the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. Just like the diameter is equal to the radius times 2. That's something else you need to memorize. The radius is equal to the diameter, the length all the way across the circle, divided by 2. Just as, you can put this somewhere in your notes, the diameter is equal to the radius times two, right? Sometimes you might need to know the diameter. You might need to know it. For the rate for the area, you only need to know the, you only need to know the radius. All right? Now, in order to find the area of any circle, I need to know pi and I need to know the radius. We're given the diameter. Right? So you might be thinking like, oh, but I need the radius though. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna do the problem? Well, lucky for us, we know how to figure out what the radius is when we're given the when the, we're given the diameter. So how do we do it? I just told you. This is another formula right here that we could use. The radius is equal to the diameter, whatever it is, divided by 2. So the diameter is 24. So all you got to do, plug in 24 
plug in 24 for D, divide that by 2. And what's 24 divided by 2? We know our multiplication facts. So since I know that 2 times 12 is 24, I know that 24 divided by 2 is 12. So that's my radius. Now, I can get busy with this formula now. Because I got everything I need. I got all my information. I ain't have all my information at first. But now I got my information now. So now I can do, the, I can do my thing. So now, the area is going to be pi. Replace that with 3.14. Or, if you're using a calculator, just hit the pi button. It's cool. Right? And my radius is going to be 12. But don't forget, it's not just r. It's r squared. So that's going to be 12 squared. So then you're going to have 3.14 times 144. All right? Now, throw that in your calculator. We're still looking for A, so I'm going to keep writing my A's. Throw that in your calculator. You get 452.16. Don't forget your units, inches. And area is always to the second power with your units. And... I don't know how to do this off the top of my head, but I already did this problem, so you know I have that written in my notes. So that's why I know it's 452.16, in case you was wondering. All right. Um, well, actually, I ain't going to front. I could figure this out. I just didn't want to take the time to do it. All right. But I had this problem worked out, and I memorized that it was 452.16, in case you was wondering. Now, also remember that area always has units that are squared. The units are never to the first power. Circumference is to the first power. Because the circumference is like the perimeter. But area is always to the second power. Always. All right? And this is the answer. 452.16 square inches. That's all. But if you're given a diameter, make sure you know how to figure out what the radius is. Make sure you know how to figure that out. Right? All you got to do is take whatever the diameter is and divide it by 2. That's all you got to do. Memorize this formula. Memorize the general formula for the area of a circle. Pi, which can be represented as 3.14, times whatever the radius is, squared. All right? And, of course, when you square something, these are just things I just want to go over because these are a lot of the common mistakes people make. When you square something, you're not just multiplying that number, that big number, by the exponent. You're multiplying that, you're multiplying that number times itself. All right? So 12 squared is 12 times 12. That's how we get 144. All right, and that's about it. All right, so I just wanted to get into this, show how to find the area of a circle when you're given a diameter, and, you know, hopefully this has been helpful. All right, please like the video, subscribe to the page, share the video, tell some people about it. Tell some people about the work we're doing over here, all this math. And as always, remember that there's all this math all around you. Peace.